Hello everyone, this is Zach from Footprint Smart Money. So first of all, thank you for watching this video and this section here, I would like to share with you or probably discuss some of the wood and furniture counters in KLSE. So before I start, just a very quick one on this disclaimer over here. I'm not uh, here to give you some advice on buy and sell for certain counters, but I'm here to probably to discuss okay, some of the stock setups that we can monitor currently by using volume spread analysis okay so i'm going to share with you the things that i like currently the things that i don't like currently but doesn't mean that you're going to uh, go up or go down on the next days or next weeks okay so if you decide to enter any trades make sure uh, you calculate your own risk okay if not you know you can always go to your uh, advisors there you know professional advisor to get some uh, advice okay from them okay so uh, we're gonna focus on this wood and furniture counters, okay? And this is some of the counters that I probably going to discuss later on. But first of all, okay, what is one spread analysis? Okay, so one spread analysis is to study the relationship, okay, between the volume and the price, and we're going to you know predict is there any chance for for the price to move in a certain direction? Of course, we're going to look into three different uh, key things, okay, by using this pattern is the volume. First of all, is volume very obvious. And then are uh, the spread of the candles or the day, the and of course the closing price and the operating price is also very important for us to look into. Is the particular days come with strength signals more or the weakness more? Okay, is the supply more or or the demand more? Okay, so we as a focus on price and volume and seek to find an action. Okay, of the smart money. Okay, so professional traders, which is referring to the smart money. Okay, so. Here we go, we're going to look into these uh, six stocks uh, from this uh, wood and furniture. Of course, there's actually still got plenty of these uh, counters coming from the same, uh, I can say this uh, same industry over here. Okay, but uh, today I'm just going to focus six. Okay, doesn't mean that this six is going to be going up for sure for next week. But like I say, I'm just looking into the stuff that I like. Okay, the risk that I'm, I'm prefer. Okay, then uh, I'm just going to monitor is there any chance for us to look for uh, good entry on okay for next week, okay so first of all i got dominance uh, followed by wtk uh, woodland door and then minho miko and hivya bot okay so i do add in also on the fa ratings and bullish rating based on uh, smart uh, smart ruby okay smart ruby apps for those that who are using smart ruby apps you can actually access to the information here just do a quick check if you uh, want to look for some good fa uh, rating co uh, counters okay you can use that too so Look like the six stocks that I'm selected today is not uh, in a very good FA ratings, okay, based on Roby. Uh, but the bullish rating is pretty good, okay. I think most of the uh, these counters here they're actually having some trend, okay, uh, previously and currently moving a uh, sideways, okay, or doing a real accumulation. Okay, I'm gonna share with you more on the chart setup later on, okay. So that's why they are uh, bullish rating is kind of high, okay, giving around to 88% to 91 92%, okay. So just a area to study for today. Okay, I'm going to focus a little bit on uh, daily charts. Okay, for those that who are looking for a short -term opportunity to trade. Okay, uh, this is kind of suits me. Okay, because I like to do uh, just a short term trades. Okay, uh, by based on daily charts over here. So weekly chart, I'm going to focus a little bit too later on because we want to focus is the trend overall is changing or not. Okay, so it's good to using the weekly chart to do so okay of course trade setups okay this is the things that i want to look for uh even though yes the weekly confirmed there's a change in the trend there but doesn't mean that uh we can look for entry okay so the trade setups is pretty important okay so i'm uh, gonna use pullback okay from reaccumulation like i said most of these counters have been reaccumulation recently uh either we are using the pentagon to entry or maybe the ns uh, signal to entry okay so now very first one this is dominant okay um i think based on the six uh stocks that listed okay i think this is one of my favorites okay and i think for our trade based members mostly they are into this trade also with the help of our trade set coach okay they already spotted these trades uh very nicely because it's forming a nice reaccumulation okay reaccumulation based on the daily chart and on the top here it doesn't show a, a big weakness okay like for example the up trust okay so holding nicely on chain 40s okay pretty nicely and the green panel just turn okay for those that who are using the uh, vf indicators to it do turns to blue triangle as well so i think overall it's pretty healthy even though the friday buy is close with red candles but you can notice the the volume okay is 
pretty, pretty low. Okay, against um, going back to the earlier slides, was this VSA, we study the volume very closely. You notice that the volume slowly increasing with the help of green paragons here. Okay, so this is to tell us uh, the, the you know the effort is coming back. Okay, or, or the demand is slowly coming back. Okay, and the Friday bar to tell us that uh, yes, yeah, someone is selling, but definitely is getting less. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Okay, uh, hopefully it make a nice pullback back to the support areas there okay so for those that who missed the initial uh, potential entry probably uh, let's see how it goes on next week okay so weekly chart is definitely more interesting okay weekly chart yes i do think that this is like a confirmation of a uh, reversal okay so 240 day moving average so for those that who attended the masterclass you know the reversal patterns and setups okay going above tested low okay going above tested low breaks up another pullback NS at the bottoms okay so NS very closely with 20 MA right now on weekly charts okay so again this is a sign of uh, pretty well supports currently okay based on the weekly so the trend have changed okay from previously down trending accumulation goes up volumes coming back okay volume is coming back again so uh, this is uh, the next stocks that we're going to focus this is WTK WTK overall still in um, Again, a long term period of our sideway, okay, very accumulations currently. So, we got several green pentagon and red pentagons, okay, in this area. So, again, uh, during sideway re accumulation, it's pretty normal to have uh, green and red pentagons, okay, several times, okay. Now, this is a bit tricky because that's where the smart money want to continue to flush out all these weekend holders, okay. So, it's very important to again pay attention to the volume, okay. So again, if you compare to the last green pentagon, last green pentagon, you notice that the green pentagons, the volume is not so climatic, it's not so high, okay. But this round, the green pentagon is even stronger, okay, and it's come with a very obvious with high volume, okay. So price seems like it tested well currently, okay. This is the previous resistance, resistance now seems like change the support, okay, and a high volume trying to cross the beauty areas, okay. So let's look into the weekly charts. Okay, I kind of like this weekly charts too. Okay, because it's from a period of uh, reaccumulation. Okay, so here reversal trades. Okay, green penguins turning. Okay, crossing trend forties. So uh, yes, we do have lots of resistance. Okay, so there's one, two, three. Okay, and this is another resistance over here. So three main uptrends at the top. Okay, trying to um, form a resistance there. The sells areas. But the bar on this closing here is pretty good, which is last week. Okay, so if, let's say you're able to break up with high volumes. Okay, so which means there is a pretty good trend coming soon. Okay, a continuation of uh, from these uh, accumulations from here. Okay, so volume is building up slowly. You can see last two weeks ago, the volume is pretty good. Uh, last week is a bit low, but overall it's still increasing compared to all these few, uh, you know, few months over here. Okay, so uh, good to pay a little bit of attention on that. Okay, so Woodland daily charts. Okay, now this is stocks that um, usually I don't really like it. Okay, because of the liquidities. Okay, so this is inactive. Okay, illiquid. Um, Chance wise, I think is okay. Okay, because this is a bit similar with dominant. Okay, but sometimes this kind of is kind of difficult to exit. Okay, because there's no transaction at all. Okay, so just going to. Uh, I just want to monitor and focus. Of course, it's not my priority uh, in terms of chart setups, okay, but it's good to monitor, okay, because sometimes if, let's say, I miss up a few uh, stocks that um, the good one, okay, so probably I will come back here to look for opportunity next, okay. But it uh, seems like the this type of charts, okay, seems like, you know, it's turning to very illiquid to some activities, even though it's still very inactive overall, okay, but you can see volume slowly coming. Okay, volume is coming, so which means that people have started to get interested. Okay, but still a bit liquid. Going to monitor further. Okay, now weekly chart wise. Okay, again do show two high volumes. Okay, here is got lots of uh, inactive trainings. Okay, big up trust. Okay, big up trust is something that usually I don't like to because it will form an immediate uh, resistance. Okay, but let's see how it goes. Okay, against uh, provided. If this give us a good price, then I think yeah, we can always look for the next sound strength for the uh, potential entry. Okay, for that. Okay, now Mingho also kind of similar with um, earlier on. Okay, which is forming a, a big pair of um, 
we have two merchants currently okay volume is getting higher even though the volume currently is not that high okay so i think that probably still going to continue sideways uh, got chance to test resistance previous resistance okay but uh, still seems like a bit slow at the moment okay because the volume still haven't really uh, picked up yet okay for miho daily chart okay so let's look into um the the weekly okay the weekly seems pretty close with 20 ma right now okay so we got again we got a high volume bar okay for those that who practice uh vsa and you know the impact of lc now most of these counters okay if you realize go back to the weekly chart earlier on it come with a very big lc high volume okay so immediately you know where it's a resistance immediately you know where is the potential support okay so these counters uh ming ho with each other is holding bar on 20 ma okay nicely okay so it seems like uh yes it's not really ready yet okay but overall there's no uh sign of uh, further weakness okay yes we got ut over here okay we got ut on this week over here okay but the price doesn't come with confirmation of the up trust okay it doesn't come with confirmation of up trust okay uh, i would say it's a bit boring at the moment okay but it's a reaccumulation counters okay so you buy hold at supports okay and uh let's see when it breaks up okay so next one okay this is uh miko daily charts okay i think a bit similar like what minho do okay but volumes coming in already okay so this is good volume you try to cross this ut one two high volume ut okay so it seems like again this is already hitting resistance okay on daily chart basis okay so let's look into weekly let's see how what they are doing right now okay um previously up trending okay this is from the green panels over here now it's almost uh, 50 hours to 60 hours cents okay doing a, a reaccumulation okay i kind of like this one two three four bars okay so low volume bars okay subsequently volume is increasing still okay so it looks like they are challenging okay on the resistance right now okay potentially we'll see a, a continuation from here okay so again let me remind you this is not a buy call okay just that you know just study based on one spread analysis okay but if less than next week it do give us a very nice uh, potential entry okay so you can actually try to monitor where's the areas uh, that you want to consider okay so okay this is i think this is the last one uh this is your bot okay uh, a trend reversals so downtrending okay you can see mostly that uh, the 40 is above 20 m uh, 20 ma so a sign of downtrending counters okay but uh yeah we have three green pentagons okay so this three green pentagon doesn't really come with high volumes but what actually attract me to to monitor put it next week is um this high volumes over here okay so it actually crossed 2040s okay volume increasing okay so if you i don't know if i monitor okay it's kind of remind me on how i enter on my you know some trade like uh issue poly even though didn't really work out that nice okay but i still get some profits for them uh tiguan okay tiguan um some of the glove counters too okay that's uh showing some evidence of uh, strength okay uh around this type of areas okay so that's what i'm monitoring so if let's say we use this weekly chart here for hevia okay so again going up okay you can see this lc here it seems are holding very well okay of course price is hitting 42 and we got this lc trying to cross this type of ut okay so let's see how it goes okay potentially we might see a green pentagons too okay for the for for the weekly charts okay so if let's say yes you got chance to retest again on the previous uh resistance area okay so let's see how it goes for for this six ounces doesn't mean that this six counter will uh goes up okay immediately next week okay i only enter if let's say there is a good area for me to enter okay again calculate your risk okay before you want to do a trade okay if you uh don't know how to calculate the risk if you don't know what's your risk then i think better look for the others opportunity okay so uh trading using one spread analysis is always recognize the opportunity and if you see the opportunity just uh try to take it up okay so in case in case your uh, the six stocks doesn't work for me you know always remember to uh 
look for look for more opportunity okay look, look for the next opportunity okay so ask yourself okay what's the next stocks next sectors or setup that you can focus okay so that's why risk is is very important okay let's say it doesn't really work out for you okay cut move on okay and we move for the next uh some others opportunity for us to to in the markets over here all right so okay uh this is a very quick short video over here hopefully you all like it and hopefully you all learn something in this video so again thanks a lot for watching uh if you like this video here please subscribe to this channel okay we do have fb too we do some uh, regular live fb if you like it just follow us okay so thank you and i'll see you in the next video